today's setup is not ideal but we are redoing most of our flat and so this is the only quiet enough room that is not completely destroyed. I asked you on my blog to send me some questions that you wanted me to answer to and I'm gonna do that while I apply some makeup to my face. The first question comes from Penelope and she asks, have you been watching any cool TV shows lately? I've been loving a typical on Netflix. It's only eight episodes, which, you know, it means that we finished it in just a couple of days and I need to watch more and I highly recommend you checking it out. By the way, I'm just starting by prepping my skin with this Too Faced primer. And then I'm gonna apply foundation. I've been using these two foundation sticks combined together. One is by Hourglass and one is by Tarte. I think I prefer the Hourglass a little bit better because it's very, very easy to build. But unfortunately this one I don't have in the right shade. It's a bit more tan than I am. So I like to, you know, mix it up this way. And actually I haven't been using concealer for like a month, more maybe. I think it has been since Menorca because that's when I started using this one while I was on the trip. And I just realized how well it built. So, you know, I just feel like I can get the coverage for a concealer with just this one. But the next question comes from Cleo and she asks, do you ever feel like nothing's going as you had planned? I know it's just a bad feeling that comes and passes, but whenever you feel like that, how do you manage to get through it? I'm a planner, I like to plan things, but at the same time, I learned to like, not be so set with what I've planned. So I'll plan the thing, I'll plan whatever I need to plan, but I know that it's a 50-50 kind of thing. So I don't get too caught up on the fact that it has to go the way I plan for it, because in that other 50% chance that I have that it doesn't go as I plan, half the times it could go really badly, but the other half of the time it could go so much better than I even planned for. You know, obviously sometimes it can go really wrong, but there is a chance that things will work out even better. Now I'm gonna set everything up with a powder. I'm using this one, which I really like because it's like a perfect travel compact kind of thing. It has a mirror on it and then you can refill the powder at the bottom. All you do is just pat it on your face and the product come out and it smells delicious too. Now we're gonna move on to bronzing up my face. I'm using this by Bourjois. I use a bronzer as I would with contour shade. I know it's not the same thing, but I'm happy with how that looks. So I don't feel like adding an extra step. Going through the questions you guys left me, I saw a lot of them being related to music. I haven't really discovered any new music lately that I'm really into or new bands. If you do have some that you think I should check out, let me know in the comments down below. My favorite album at the moment is I See You by The XX. It's on my car, on repeat. It's on my phone, on repeat. I just really, 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 really like it. I know that the XX are on tour right now and I've been trying to get Felix to go to any place. I'm like, please, can we go? But yeah, it's not really working out. So I guess I'm not gonna see them live this year, but it's okay. Now the next thing we're gonna apply it's a highlighter. This is by Pretty Vulgar. I review this brand on my blogs if you want to read more about it, but their products are so beautifully packaged. This highlighter has a cool pinky shade to it and it's the Shimmering Swan Highlighter. I don't know if you can tell from there, but it's impressive. I'm applying this on my cheekbones and on my brow bone. And you know what? I'm gonna put it here as well. Look at that, that is insane. I'm also gonna do my eyebrows with their Pretty Vulgar Rising Arch. I've been using this brand since they first sent me a full box with everything to try out. Then we partner up to do a giveaway. And since then, I've been using it constantly and now they are sponsoring this video. So thank you, Pretty Vulgar. The next question comes from Banji Lee and she asked, what are your thoughts when you choose your decoration now? I think what I'm trying to do right now is to add more color into my designs. Like this room is wide, obviously, right now, but I decided to paint it a dusty pink, and then I'm gonna take sandpaper and scrub it down to give it that texture, and then add some touches of industrial, like these lights over here. But I really like that contrast of softer, classic beauty with industrial edgier pieces. And for sure, a lot of plants. We don't have a garden and I feel like plants make me happy. The next thing we're gonna apply is the blush and this is by EX1. I included this exact blush 
in my spring box last year, I think. And I'm still really liking it. It's really, really nice. Now we're gonna use my eyeshadow palette to create a pretty look. So I'm using the golden shade all over my eyelid. Today I'm going full on, gonna put some sparkles in it. I'm using the brush it comes with and I'm taking the third shade and I'm gonna apply it all under my eye. Then I'm gonna do the same to the other eye. And then I'm gonna apply this, which is by Stila, and it's that beautiful glitter liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna pop it in there and then here and I blend it with my finger. Now we're gonna apply some eyeliner and this is by M Cosmetics. This is probably the best eyeliner I've ever tried. I'm not even gonna attempt to reply to your questions while I do eyeliner because I tried in the past and I failed. By the way, did I mention that my camera is completely broken? I have no clue when it's gonna get fixed, so this is not my main camera. I hope the quality is decent enough. Now we're going back to Pretty Vulgar. This is called the Feather Mascara, and it comes in this gorgeous packaging with a birdcage. I've been using this as an everyday mascara just because it has a curly one, and that really actually makes a difference when you're applying it to your lashes. It just curls them beautifully without you needing to use the actual tool. It's very buildable, so if you want a very intense look, you can totally do that. Right now, I'm gonna go for a midway kind of look, I guess. Right now, back to school season is over us, and I'm personally having a small crisis. Did I really choose the right university course? Is this choice going to make me happy? What do I want? Do you set yourself goals in any way? Can you talk about how you figure out what goals you want to achieve? or what times in your life you try to find goals. I used to set major goals to myself, which eventually always drove me to madness because big goals, first of all, are not everything. And they are big goals for a reason. You're gonna get to that eventually. But I find that it works much, much better for me to set smaller achievable goals on the short terms and try to enjoy the journey to achieve those rather than only focusing on the end goal. To complete the phase, we're gonna apply a lippy and woo, it flew away. Today, we're gonna feature this by Soap and Glory, which is another sponsor for this video. So here are the spectacular lips, which come in three different shades. They are matte, but they are also metallic, which is why the name is Matte Alec, but they are very, very wearable. I'm not sure which one I want today. Maybe Gold Dusk. I've used these before. They feel very nice on your lips and they go on so smoothly. Look at that. They feel super velvety and smooth and they last up to 12 hours. You know what? I'm actually gonna try the dark one just to see how it will match the eyes. I'm gonna keep this one on. I love that they all have that golden reflection to them. This is so cool. Now the final thing I'm going to do is to take care of my hair. This is my fourth day hair and it's getting a bit flat over here. So I'm gonna brush it through very quickly. Tangle Teaser is my go-to brush and then always dry shampoo. This one is by Chloron. I partnered up with them in the past and I am today as well. It's just a very, very good dry shampoo. It's so easy to use. It does a great job at refreshing the roots. I find that it adds some volume to my hair. I like this because it also comes in the travel version, which is great if you're traveling. It's also vegan and it has oat milk in it and it's made with corn and rice starch. Another thing I do is to take some oil this is by Biosense. I like this oil simply because it works for face, body, and hair. I'm just gonna spritz some hairspray. This is by Tresemme. We are done. So I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was getting ready for the day. And hopefully you like this look. I will link you to all the products down below. I hope you're having a wonderful starting of your week and I will see you very soon. Bye. Thanks.